Welcome back to my channel Zippy Z. And today I have a crochet tutorial. And they are these cute ribbed hand warmers. Let me give a little demo. So I'm just going to take one of them out. And as you can see over here, I chained uh, vertically and then made how the book crochets only at the back loops to achieve that ribbed texture and ribbed look. And after about 10 or so rows, I made some stitches and then chained two, skipped two stitches and just worked half double crochets normally. And then I sewed the sides together. Um, yeah, I just sewed because it was kind of like a rectangular shape and I just put those together just to make it in the round and that could go, um, uh, just could fit in my hand. Um, and I used the whip stitch to sew those together but if you want to use a mattress stitch or slip stitches you can also use that too but wait let me just find it yeah so as you can see over here i made my um whip stitches but now let's just start with the tutorial materials first of all yarn i used in black color secondly a four millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle to sew the pieces together, and lastly, a pair of scissors. Let's start crochet. So, first thing is to make a slip knot. So, to make a slip knot, all I'm doing is taking my yarn and with my two fingers, I'm creating an X. With the long strand, I put it under those two fingers, and with my crochet hook, I grabbed the yarn and come out, pulled the knot, pulled to make a knot and pulled on a long strand to adjust. Now to hold your crochet hook, hold it like a thumb thingy and then just take out your index finger, your middle finger and your thumb and just hold it on the tail. To hold your crochet hook, hold it like a knife and with your index just hold on a loop. Now let's chain. Chain all you're going to do is yarn over and pull through. Chain koribor karne ma ulduk pesa isu ara ulai ahisu. Ulduk pesa isu ulai ahisu. I just yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And just kept on continuing until it made the length of my um hand warmers and i did this vertically not horizontally uh, so i have 30 chains right now plus i will add an extra one just so we can skip that chain and that chain will not count as our first half double crochet now we'll do half double crochet skip the first chain and the yarn over go into the second chain yarn over come out you're going to then yarn over and pull through all the three loops. Have double crochet kori bar karne ma ultuk pesa isu humai isu ultuk pesa leke ne ulai isu aro ultuk pesa leke ne tini ta loop se re ulai isu. So to have double crochet, all I'm doing is yarning over, inserting, yarning over, coming out, yarning over, pulling through all the three loops. So now just have a look on how I did it. You're going to keep on doing this till the end of the row. So this is my second row. Now we're going to be chaining one. Now I want this to be ribbed. So what I did was just crochet only at the back loops. As you can see over here that this is the front loop and it's the back loop. We're only going to be inserting on the back loop to achieve that ribbed um, figure or something so all I'm doing is yarning over inserting 
into the back loop, yarning over, coming out, yarning over, pulling through all the three loops. Now we'll take a piece of back piece of loop to my humaisu. We'll take a piece of leg and we'll take a piece of leg. We'll take a piece of leg and we'll take a piece of leg. We'll take a piece of leg and we'll take a piece of leg. So I just kept on continuing that because it's a fairly easy project and you don't even have to be so worried about it because you just have to just keep track on crocheting into the back loops again i'm just yarning over inserting into only the back loop and then yarning over coming out and yarning over pulling through all the two loops and this is just how you do the half double crochet um all i'm doing is just making a half double crochet into the back loops only and you're going to be continuing this until you get the um until you reach till your thumb to make the thumb holes so i chained one and measured myself on where i want to put my safety pin you can also use a stitch marker if you have that because i don't have it so here's my safety pin and i marked it to where i have to end and make the thumb holes so here's just a quick half double crochet session over here just yarning over inserting into only the back loops yarning over coming out yarning over pulling through all the three loops Now, since I've reached the ninth stitch, I just took out my safety pin and then made a half double crochet back loops only over there. And now it's time to make the thumb holes. So you can either chain one or chain three to make your thumb holes, but I liked a good chain two. And then I chained two, skipped two two chains and then made a half double crochet at back loops onto the third chain so like that i created a thumb hole to insert my thumb and i don't know why i did double crochet over there but yeah it was supposed to be half double crochet so <clears throat> i don't mind that and right now just keep on continuing until the end of the row. So I have went through the thumb holes until there. So this is my last place of where I'm going to have double crochet and then just make normal half double crochets onto the chains. So like you, when you start your crochet work, you always work onto the chains. So like that, you're going to be working two half double crochets into the chain twos. Like so. And then just continue working until the end of the row. Okay, now on my um, 13th row, just work half double crochet back loops only normally into those chain two since we have now two half double crochets to work with. So just keep on doing normal half double crochets into the back loops only. And this is just really simple like that. And you're going to be continuing until it fits your hand. Make it a bit smaller because it's going to stretch. Because crochet stretches. And as you can see over here, uh, it's my third last row. And then I am going to be chaining one. And then cutting a long uh, strand just to weave in. And so I don't have to attach a new yarn like so. 
just chained one, cut my work, and then pulled out the yarn and pulled on the knot. Now, with the darning needle, I inserted, folded my work, and now I'm going to be making a knot over there. So, to um, make a knot, all I'm going to do is insert insert into your first stitch and then at the back loop of your second stitch i'll call it row so i insert it and then went again and then made a teeny tiny hole insert it over there just to make a knot and now all i'm doing is inserting going back again inserting into my first row and then at the back loop of my second row and this is called the whip stitch there's another stitch called mattress stitch but that's just not for me i like to do the whip stitch so to do the whip stitch again just come just insert into the first row and the back loop of your work and pull on it like that you're going to be working till the end and I'm going to be showing you how to um, just fasten off your work. So to fasten off, you're just going to insert normally uh, like that. And now once more, you're going to insert and make a... And there's going to be a loop if you do it slowly, but I just did it really fast. So never mind that, but yeah. Insert into that hole. And pull on it now just weave in the extra end so to weave in your ends all you're going to do is just insert into a few stitches like so and then you're going to be skipping one loop you can uh, make sure that you can just look at it because it's not available in the camera right now but yeah just cut your work and your hand warmers will be done and you have to make two for it yeah unless you have three hands then make three you get my point yeah so this is the back and this is how it looks and it turned really so, pretty so i hope you all enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share bye